It's wonderful to work with, with young people because I find myself now in a generation which is maybe not anymore the young generation. I'm 43 and I have felt the need more and more the last years to, to give to the next generation you know, the knowledge that I have gotten from the masters that I worked with and all the musicians I worked with and, and, and through the experience um, of playing concerts and working with this music. Um, this is what classical music is so much about. One of the great things about classical music is that the music is ever-changing. If, if you have a piece by a great composer, let's say Beethoven, it's, you don't find that one movement will be in, in, in one mood. You, know? uh, you will find that uh, it starts with something that grabs you and then the next moment it's very tender, very delicate, and then it's building up a big, big, uh, big crescendo. The glow of the music and the enthusiasm I have for the music, that, that's what gives me energy again and again. This is such great music, you know, when you work with something like Beethoven, it's, it's boundless and it's so, so spontaneous and every day is new with this music. Very well played. Um, you have fantastic uh, ability to play this. this uh, these are patches and, and scales, and it's, it, there's such a clarity to what you do. I lack it, a little bit the mystery here. Did you ever see Arau play, play there, as an old man, play, play this? There's something. If you go on YouTube, you, you, you can see it. Mm. I'm not exa exaggerating. That, that's basically the tempo, and that's the length, and, and with a pedal. Um, when I saw that, I was very surprised. Then. Uh, but also fascinated because because it it gave something to the piece, which is which was very beautiful. And you play the, the right hand a little bit short, uh, uh, shorter. You you have both in a way. Um, try. Yeah. For me, that's a much more satisfying and interesting sound. Now I'm really I'm really feeling that we can expect anything from this piece. <laughs> The other thing is, you never use the left pedal. This piece is full of pianissimo. How is that possible? <laughs> you managed to do it. You managed to do it very well, but I would all, so often in this piece uh, use, the, uh, use the left pedal. And certainly in this beginning, I would. Uh, by the way, why does he write the first note alone? I mean, we, he's not here. We cannot ask him. If you start to use this length. You know, it's, it's a, there's a big difference in and then that's even darker. Beautiful. Students can certainly give me um, many things, I find, because also for me to react on, on, on their challenges, their problems, their, they have maybe different challenges that, that, than I had. Um, as a pianist, you very often, you work alone, you know, it's a lonely business. 
and to have to, to put into words for somebody else um, my thoughts about the music. That, that can be, um, yeah, thought provoking. Um, and hopefully the students can, can learn something from, from, the, from my experience uh, to the music. I try to um, approach it from different angles, from simply the physicality of the piano playing together with the music. For me it's one. Uh, I don't separate technique and, and music in a way. Uh, it often goes hand in hand. is for me, and, and this comes several times. Um, I feel that you play this as, as an uh, etude. Uh, you know, it, there's so much... And there's so, so many places this, this melody goes. And then it changes direction. Invent, you know, try to, to, to speak this as, as a melody. Yes, great. And, and this is so fun. You know, be a very interesting bassoon player here. You know, try to be as sincere as you can. Listen to, to, to your inner voices, what, what feels right to you. Because you will meet so many people with so many different opinions and so, many, so much different taste. And, and it's, it's, it's important to take in all these kind of different I influences, but also to filter and really to, to listen to, to your heart, what, what is the right thing, um, and what is the right thing for the music. So I think ultimately a, a life in music needs to be based on the belief in the music. And Beautiful, but I, I think there's more to, to, to be said. This, this crescendo to this to this forzato, I, I didn't hear. So I think there, there's a bigger story to be told in this in this fantastic. I mean, where does this come from? E major. Uh, it, it's such such a special place. Here, give it. Even more content, yeah? Try to come from this uh, uh, last time. should really go to the point. Then you get the symmetry again.
No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't think so. It's great. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't need to be so much here because then you, you have possibility to do even more here and maybe longer. But what is happening there? You know, it's something more. Try. Yeah, sorry. You know, Beethoven's music for me is, is the most human music there is. Um, it so often goes through all kinds of human struggles, and we feel that. It's, there is no, um, there's no question. This music always is about something in life. You know, you feel that he is searching for answers. He goes through, uh, through problems, through challenges, and very often he ends up you know, with a feeling of, of a triumph or an answer or a conclusion. Though not always, you know, in later in, in life he becomes more and more spiritual and you feel this kind of comfort, uh, looking at, at, at the light, you know, he's looking up. Yes, and, and here it comes, it comes four times, yeah? And it has to be different. It, it was also a little bit that you were repeating yourself uh, all, all the time. I think for my feeling, dark, dark, more new enthusiasm, F major, you know, show something of that, and then you have we have the same. It's not necessary anymore to to to. It's not new. I think it can have a very uh, neutral in, in, in a certain sense and, and not everything on the same level because it has a tendency in this register to be a little bit heavy then. It becomes a bit brown. <laughs> It's so much the rhythmic impulse here, which is important. Try. Right. Beethoven always built on contrast, and it's such a fascinating music because it's built on these structures, on these motives that he can build a very organic structure, like nobody else. But at the same time, there is this. There are always surprises in this music. These spontaneous accents, these changes. You never know what will uh, happen around the, the next corner. And that combination of the structure and the spontaneity, that, that is what makes this music ever challenging and, and so fresh and so modern. I mean, for me, it's totally magical that this music is written 200 years ago. You know, it's like totally relevant for us today. Very good. I, 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 don't be afraid of pedal. Yes. Uh. Try to do it once with with the pedal. Yeah. You see what you avoided now? You avoid this, this screaming quality. There is something, there is something in you that, that you're putting the brakes on before. It's, it's like you, you, you stop before you do the last one. Better. Go for it. Much. Can, can you play the, 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 the left hand for me? The problem why you couldn't create that sound was that you, you were really 
in a habit of focusing too much on the right hand. It didn't come from the from the left hand. So in a, simply by playing that, you made the sound free. You, uh, okay. One last time. First, you play this. Now play normal. Almost. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's it's wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs>